Hey everyone, Brian Balon here, your Greater Phoenix real estate agent. And if you have been in the Valley, you may have heard of the company Open Door. They are a major eye buyer in the Valley and purchase several homes a month for the past several years and have also been part of the reason that the market has been propped up with demand as they've been purchasing quite a number of homes in the Valley. Open Door has 2,520 homes in active inventory and they sold 151 of those homes in July, 2022. That means they have about 17 months of inventory. If they sold the 151 homes in July continually for the next 17 months, uh, that's how long it would take the 17 months for them to sell all of their inventory. So it's quite a large inventory and a slow sales rate that they're having um, to offload that inventory for a profit. From August 10 to August 22nd, they sold about 44 homes. And in those 44 homes, they averaged a gross profit margin of negative 4.4%. So they are selling these at a loss on average. I observed one situation where I was looking for inventory in a particular subdivision, and they had a listing there that they purchased in July 2022 for six twenty six five hundred, dollars And they listed the property not 10 days later for $610,000, and then they dropped the price a few weeks later to $580,000. And then now, as of today, uh, it... August 20, 23rd, uh, they got a uh, contract on it. And um, I do uh, represent clients with Open Door, and it is possible to get under asking on some of these. So uh, so in this case, they may have gotten even under asking, the, the buyers of the property that's listed at 580, they may have gotten under asking on that one. So um, they're selling these at a significant loss at, from the difference between 580 and 626 is 46,500 give or take maybe another 10 or 20, they could have to have up to possibly a $66,000 potential loss from when they acquired the property to potentially selling it in the next 30 to 60 days. iBuyers in total, all the iBuyers, Open Door and all the other companies that are actively purchasing represent about 11% of the active inventory that is listed for sale in the market. And they're selling only about 3% of the listings per month. So there's definitely a gap there between how much they're acquiring versus how much they're able to offload uh, on the back end. Definitely some interesting statistics to think about as on average, they are losing about 7%, 7.7% actually, if you factor in commissions and uh, closing costs and things like that. Hope this video has been helpful just to give you insight of what's happening with their business model. It remains to be seen on what kind of actions they'll take or how they'll change their their strategy moving forward. However, we'll definitely keep you in touch with that as we know. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you next time.